Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. For the majority of my 20s, I've had acne-prone skin, which also means I've had dark spots because for some reason, I just didn't know that you were supposed to do anything to get rid of the dark marks. Yeah. Anyone who's been watching YouTube for years knows the makeup artist Lisa Eldridge. She happens to be one of my favorite makeup artists. Her philosophy very well aligns with mine, and it's basically just allowing the skin to shine through. And I remember she did this video on acne prone skin and basically making a no makeup makeup look that looks basically flawless for us too. Back then I was so insecure with the spots in my face and I just loaded my face with so much makeup, which probably made the problem even worse because I didn't wash my face properly, that I just kind of loaded my skin with makeup to try to make it look as blank and even as a canvas as possible. So as to distract people from looking at my skin. But now that I'm much more comfortable with how my skin looks, and actually most of the time I barely even cover up my dark spots at all, I wanted to give this makeup look a try. I will link her video down below in case you wanted to follow along, as well as all of the products that I'm using in this video will be linked down below as well. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on my other socials, it's always, it's Lakeisha. And without further ado, let's get started. Not all of your skin is textured. Maybe about 30% you have texture or about 30% has pigmentation. So you wanna allow the rest of that 70% to shine through. So basically making the skin overall look as good as possible and then fixing those tiny little spots that need a little bit more coverage. First thing I did was moisturize my skin because everything always starts with a good base. I reapplied my toner. This is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. Then I applied my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream as well as the eye cream from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And this just makes my skin look radiant. It plumps it up a little bit more, it evens out my skin, and it preps it for applying makeup. Back in the day, like people never really used to use primer. Like your moisturizer was your primer. As long as your skin was nicely, thoroughly moisturized and hydrated, your makeup would apply just fine. It's only a recent thing in the past like 10 years that primer was invented. Lisa does use a primer in this video, so I'm gonna be using the Derma Blend Professional uh, Oil Absorbing Primer. This is their matte makeup primer. I'm not using it all over, just in the areas of my face that tend to get a little bit oily. I don't like to use too much of it because I don't want my skin to all over be too, too matte, just on these areas that tend to get oily. Great. She uses a lightweight foundation. Uh, I have this one on hand. This is the one from Dior, their Dior Backstage. It is my summer color, so my skin is a little bit light right now. Um, we'll see if I can make that work. <laughs> so just applying a little bit onto a palette, and then I'm using a paddle brush to put it on my face, just like she does in the video. Starting with the side. Okay, perfect, it's not too, too dark. And she does a very light base. Like the point is not to overload your skin with color, it's just to even out your skin tone. Let me zoom in. So now I have foundation all over my face, a very, very light, even layer. She does go in with a skin shimmery type of product. I'm gonna be using the MAC Strobe Cream. This is in the shade Gold Light. So she does it like kind of right here by the highest points of the face. It's just gonna add some sheen to the skin, some brightness without adding any additional coverage. Next, she has a little bit of concealer in the inner corners of the eye. I'm going to be using the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in the shade Cappuccino. Just a tiny bit in the corner here, not very much. Just for some of that darkness. She does a little bit under the eye as well. I'm going to continue. And I'm actually going to blend out with a beauty blender. In the video, she actually doesn't use a sponge, she uses a brush. So I'm using the Morphe M173 and I'm just blending it out under the eyes. Okay, there's a little bit of a distinction between my eyes and my cheeks because there's nothing there, but 
trust the process. Now we're gonna actually conceal the dark spots. Now she uses a stick foundation. I don't have a stick foundation that matches my skin color, so I'm gonna be using a cream. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I actually have two of them because my skin is dual toned. One in dark one, cafe, and the other in dark zero, chocolate. The point is you wanna use some sort of foundation or concealer that has a thicker coverage so it can really cover up those areas. Shouldn't need too much, but you can always use more if necessary. And of course, she uses a brush. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe. I don't know what brush this is, but it's a synthetic brush. <laughs> okay, so starting around my mouth, because I have a lot of darkness right here. So we're gonna use the darker shade. skin is not perfect. I don't expect it to look perfect, but just a little bit more blended out is what I'm going for. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face, spot concealing, and then I'll be right back. It's actually looking quite nice. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is get some powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. You guys know I love this powder. I've been using it for years. I love how this is tinted and it's not just like white because <laughs> that is not translucent on anyone. She uses a powder puff to put the translucent powder on the face and I learned this recently where you kind of like tap it onto the powder um, sponge and you roll it. <laughs> I can't do it, it's so small. You roll it like this, and then it kind of like pushes the powder into the sponge. You're gonna tap it on your hand to bring the powder to the surface, and then you roll it on the skin, so cool. Anyways, but we're gonna put a little bit around my mouth, and just kind of press it into the skin. That should set that, and then we're gonna press it under the eyes, There's barely anything on this. It's just the slightest amount. You're not trying to like super mattify the face, but just set where you put that foundation, um, the concealer. She uses a powder brush around the face. So I'm just gonna knock some of what's already there off to make sure it looks nice and light. There you go. That's pretty much all she does for face. Now I'm someone who has, like I said before, a two-toned face, so I feel like without a, a hint of bronzer, I don't quite look um, as I naturally would. So I'm gonna take a tiny amount of bronzer and just give my skin some warmth. This is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. I've, I've used this one so many times. And we're just gonna use a hint of this on the face, like literally nothing, and just give my skin some warmth. Because my skin naturally has warmth, right? And that will be kind of like setting the rest of the face. Just like that. Okay. From here, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eye makeup. We're still trying to make it look like there's not a lot on my skin, so I'm just gonna do this very subtly by pushing up the brows and then just filling in where it needs to be filled in. I'm gonna be using uh, this brow pencil from NYX. This is like the only brow pencil I use. This is their micro brow pencil in the shade Espresso. Not too, too much. I don't want it to look like I'm like made up or anything. and just kind of blend it in, just like that. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Next side. Okay, that looks super natural. So I'm gonna put on a tiny bit of mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. 
This one is supposed to give you a lot of volume. I'm just looking for something that's gonna coat my lashes just a tiny bit and make them, you know, fan out <laughs> the way I like my lashes to be. Not clumpy. Just a little bit fanned out and like help it stand up straight. Usually I put on like a couple of coats and really make them look large, but we just want it to look natural. And I'm going to put on a tiny bit of lip gloss. Lips aren't really pink, they're more peach. So I'm going to make a custom lipstick with this Ish Lip Statement Palette. Probably going to be using this peach color over here and mix it in with a nude. For my nude shade, I'm using the NYX Pro Lip Cream Palette. And so I'm going to be using this one right here. Starting with the nude on the outside. And then a little bit of that pink in the inside. But I'm gonna blend that in just a little bit using the Imperious Cosmetics Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Melanin. It's, a, it's actually a black owned makeup brand and this is their like super dark chocolate lip liner. Just following the natural line of my lips because they are naturally two-toned. This one is so cute because it actually has like a little sharpener on the end. So it makes it so easy to sharpen this pencil. I'm gonna add a very small amount of lip gloss. This is the Mented Lip Gloss in the shade Mauve Over. Okay. Very small amount. Let me take my hair down. There is our natural looking makeup. I think this looks so good and it just looks like me. I am very proud of myself and it doesn't feel like there's like a heavy layer of foundation on my skin. I really enjoy the way that this turned out. It looks so good and I'm getting really emotional. But <laughs> yeah, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Have you ever done your makeup like this? I would love to hear what tips and tricks that you use or any products that you use. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!